Bible in the book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. That verse raises three questions. What is the heart? Because when we talk of the heart, we are not talking about the pump in your body that pumps the blood. The second question is, why is it so important? We are told above all else to guard it. And thirdly, how do you actually do it? That's what we want to discuss today. Welcome to Sitam Church Online. My name is Karita Mbagara. I'm the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. So what is the heart? In biblical understanding, the heart is what we call the soul. And it comprises of three things. It is the mind, it is the will, and it is the emotions. When we talk of the will, we are talking of the place of volition, where decisions are made. We are talking of something that acts like an examiner that examines the thoughts and examines the affections and decides this is, this is okay, we can pass it and consequently you can speak about it or you can do something, you can act, action can be taken. So it is a very important part of the heart. It's the place of governance. The second one is the mind. And this is where every kind of idea is conceived. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Because whether it is the noblest of the ideas or the vilest of the ideas, they all come from the mind. The ideas are born there. In different words, it's the womb of the heart because that's where ideas are developed, processed, thought through until they become thoughts that can be expressed either in action or in words. And then the will is the place of emotion. And we talk of emotions such as hate or love, emotions such as fear or hope. It is the place where you have joy or sorrow. And we could go on the place of passions or affections and feelings. And they are important because affections make us make decision towards a particular thing. So what makes this heart so important? In a way, we have already inferred because that's where we make decisions that relate to what we say and even what we think and tell ourselves all what we do. And it is important to know that even self-talk is important. Uh, I heard from one person called Jim Quick. Uh, he says that uh, he read somewhere that uh, the mind is a supercomputer, but it runs on self-talk. What you tell yourself has great significance because it determines your behavior. So the heart is important because of that. In fact, the Bible, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 7, it says that as a man thinks, so is he. You are what you think. You are what is in your heart. All actions come from there. The words we speak to our children, if we have them, or to our spouses, if we are married, or to our friends, when we have them, or our colleagues, are all processed in the heart. First through the mind, then our emotions are involved. How do you feel about this person? And the will allows it to be expressed, whether it is by an action. If you are unhappy, you bang the door as you walk out. Or if you are happy, you smile. All those things come from there. The heart is you. That's who you are. It is the one that governs your feet. Where will your feet go? It's the one that governs your hands. What will your hands do? It even is followed by your eyes. Your eyes see the things that you value. And that value is developed in the heart. Your ears also listen to the things that you have, you know, concluded that they are important. But again, that conclusion is made in the heart. So the heart is central and it is important. But perhaps the final thing to say here, it is important because that's where God looks to. 
When we read the story of the anointing of David, God said that he does not look on the outside. He does he is not impressed by our physique, our beauty or lack of physique. And let me say that he is not also depressed <laughs> or he is not unimpressed by the fact that we may be, not be good looking. No. It is our heart that he looks to. And he looked to the heart of David and he saw that that heart was right with him and he said this is a man after my own heart so god has his own heart and brothers and sisters if for nothing else for us to be right with god we need to take care of our hearts but how do you do it it is by being vigilant making sure that every thought is subordinated to the word of god you examine it you are alert you are you are always conscious of what you are thinking and what you are processing your actions come from there so you want to know why am i doing this but i also want to say it is jeremiah who said in jeremiah 17 that the heart of man is continually evil mine yours Consequently, we are not always able to be that vigilant. And this is where prayer comes in. A prayer of inviting the Holy Spirit to guide us and to help us. In the Bible, we see for example David saying that God should set a guard upon his lips so that he utters what is honorable. He invites him to watch over the words of his mouth. In the book of Psalms 19 he says let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. And my brother, you and I need to make the same prayer. God watch over my heart. Help me to be conscious of what is happening there and let me not deviate from what is in accordance with your word and your will so that I I'm a blessing to you and a blessing to your people. That's an important prayer. But let me close by saying, if we have done wrong, if we have failed here, we have said words that we shouldn't have said, then we can apologize and we can start a new reality by starting a new step. I mean taking a new step of doing what God would expect of us. we can go to god in repentance it's part of a, an apology going to god and saying god my heart is not always right help me to be right with you and god is looking for such a heart because in the book of psalms 51 david says that a contrite and a broken heart one that pleases god he will not despise and he will not despise you as if you go to him honestly and truthfully may the lord bless you as you think about what i've been saying as you use your heart to contemplate uh, my uh, my thesis in in this clip and if it's a blessing please share it with your friends let them also receive the same blessing that you have received don't forget to subscribe if you have never subscribed and we will notify you the next time we put out a a a clip like this one thank you very much for taking your time to listen to me and have a great time